Thank you for tuning in to As It Lays. Today's subject is John Peters. Mr. Peters, thank you for being here. Thanks for inviting me. Let's just get started with the questions then. Do you grow any of your own fruits, vegetables, or herbs? Do I look like a farmer too? <laughs> no, kidding. Do I? Um, actually, I do. I have a ranch up in Santa Barbara where we have lots of horses and dogs and we do have some vegetables and herbs and my, my wife's, my ex-wife's parents are farmers in Iowa so they grow thousands of acres of fruits and vegetables. Have you ever danced all night at a European nightclub? Yes, many times. When I was, when I was younger and I was making movies like Flashdance and Color Purple and different movies even the last Superman movie, when they're released through Europe, we go out to clubs and we hang out with the kids and we dance and, and have a good time. If you were to make a documentary film, what would be the subject? Child abuse. I, I, I think the children have no rights. And I think um, exposing um, the abuse in the system with kids would be a subject that I would, I mean, there's many things that I would do, but I think the, the child abuse would be my, 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 my first focus. Do you ever get homesick? Do I ever get homesick? Well, I'm too old to get homesick. So really wherever I hang my hat is my home. So I don't get homesick, no. I mean, I did when I was a kid many, many years ago, when I came from the valley into Beverly Hills, I sometimes get homesick, but that was a long time ago. What does swallowing your pride taste like? Uh, it can be bittersweet because I have had, my first movie was 1976 with Soup Bat, uh, Stars Born and it's been a million, many, many years since then and about four years ago I decided to come back to work after being retired and I had actually made a lot of enemies and I had, I had really been tough on a lot of people in the first go around. So this go around has been swallowing my pride, but you know what, I'm, people let me work, they let me do my thing, they're very respectful. So it's bittersweet, but it's, it can be hard. As a teenager, did you ever shoplift? Yes. Uh, yes, I, as a young kid, yes, of course I've shoplifted. I've taken things that I shouldn't have, but, but not often. I'm not, I don't believe in stealing. I believe in earning your way. and making your own money so you can pay for things. What two musical artists would you like to hear sing a duet together? Um, uh, Beyonce and Eminem. I'd like to hear them, see them write a song and perform it. Good idea, right? <laughs> what is the most remote place you've ever been? A uh, small island off of Tahiti, uh, maybe an hour outside of Tahiti, little island where there's no people, just almost like Indians living on it, and that was many years ago. Have you ever taken self-defense classes or studied a martial art? Yes, I'm actually a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and uh, I have studied it for maybe 30 years, and I studied under a guy by the name of Carlson Gracie, who's now dead, and I manage a lot, actually a lot of fighters. That one of the guys that I discovered, a guy by the name of Victor Belfort, he just won the semi championships last night for a thing called the UFC, which is the Ultimate Fighting Championships. So that's part of my passion. And I've been a fighter my whole life. I started as a boxer, and when I was in jail as a kid, I learned how to box, how to defend myself from the guys. And then I learned about kickboxing, and then I met the Gracies, and they put it all together, and it became the UFC, the Ultimate Fighting Champion. So yes, I'm, I'm, I'm very much into taking classes and training. I still do it now. Good question. You never thought you'd let that answer, did you? From whom do you get your best fashion advice? Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren has been a guy I've known years ago. He tried to buy the Batmobile from me when I was making Batman, and he called up. He was, I think he offered us a million dollars for it because he collects cars. But he's been the most important fashion icon in the history of fashion. I think he's 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 he he, he makes them hip, he makes them old. He does the you know he he combines everything, and he I think Ralph Lauren is a true fashion genius. 
Do you believe in a higher power? I absolutely do. I believe that there is a higher power. Years ago, um, when I was a kid, I discovered Madonna, and I, we were apart for a long time, and then I, I, I started um, studying um, Kabbalah, which is the mystological part of the, of the Torah. I realized how much I believe in a higher power and how I believe that there's, we answer to our moves and in my own self. Every time I've had something negative happen to me, anytime I think of something bad that's happened, there's been many things, I can directly relate it to something I've done wrong or my karma that I'm paying the dues for the mistake that I made, really in offense of what I would call my higher power. The more I stay in tune with that higher God, whatever you want to call it, the more peaceful I feel in my life. Is it possible to be friends with an ex? Uh, it's very possible, not probable. Um, I am very friendly with my ex. I find that with the ex-wives and the women that I've been in my life, that I have a pretty good relationship with them, especially the ones that I still give money to. <laughs> What are your thoughts on stem cell research? I don't know anything about stem cell research. Um, I know that a friend of mine who died, Laura Ziskin, who was one of my first assistants, great producer, great lady, was doing some stem cell research on cancer. But from what I see, and I know very little, it seems like the future. I see they're growing noses, I see they're growing body parts. So it, as this biological, part of the world continues to grow, A, a lot of people are going to make a lot of money, but B, I think that it's the future. I don't know if that's the good news, to be able to recreate and duplicate people, but I think that's where we're headed. Do you read the tabloids? No, but I watch a lot of television, so it, that, that stuff kind of infiltrates through me, but I don't read the tabloids. Are you a good storyteller? I think I am. I think I'm one of the best, as a matter of fact. I've made almost 100 movies, and when I came to Hollywood, I didn't have a nickel. I was just getting out of jail for gang activity, and uh, I was in going to beauty school, and I had to be a storyteller to get people to believe in me, believe in my movies, to believe in the money to put up the $4 billion they put into Sony. You know, I had the, I got the Columbia, I got the Sony to buy Columbia Pictures, myself, my partner, and a bunch, a lot of us, Walter Yetnikoff, a lot of different people. But I had to tell the story, I had to make the picture, I had to be able to convince everybody that this was a good investment. And you know, when you've made as many movies as I have, I grew up being a storyteller as a kid, only difference was when I was a kid I was a liar. I made up everything as a fantasy. And then as I got older, I made more of those lies and those fantasies become reality and created the world that that I'm proud to have created in my, my 60 years or so. Is money really the root of all evil? Absolutely, yes. I believe that because what money does is give you freedom. And if a person isn't spiritually correct and they're not in their right place, when they have freedom and they can do whatever they want, it's total corrupt. I think money that comes to people later in life has a better benefit because when you get older you realize well, you know, not because, not just because you can do it, it's should you do it, you know, because people do things just because they can sometimes, as opposed to what they should be doing. And yes, I think it's the root of all evil, or not all evil, but it certainly has a powerful negative impact. Do you have any favorite mobile phone apps? You know, the truth is, I've never used a mobile phone app. I don't even know what they look like. In your opinion, who has been the most influential First Lady of the United States? Hillary Clinton, because I think that she is one of the smartest, brightest, on-point ladies that we've ever had in the White House. And I met her years ago when uh, Bill Clinton was the governor of Arkansas. and. We brought him out here to do, a, on a program, my partner Peter Goober and a bunch of Hollywood people brought him out here to do, uh, to put him and to speak his thing on this thing called Education First, where it's, we get involved with the schools and we change the education and we put a lot of money into it. Anyhow, I saw how she worked and how she helped manage him. 
So I think Hillary Clinton would be the mo one of the most you know, you know important woman period in a, in our time. Is it true that there are no mistakes in art? Well, if you look at life as an art, as art, and everything in it, then there, I guess there are no mistakes. Because I know for me, like I made a movie years ago called Caddyshack, turned into be a classic movie, it's made lots of money every year, it's, 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 it's a, an amazing whatever, but that movie was full of mistakes. The movie couldn't be edited together. The gopher sequence in the movie, which everybody loves, we put in with George Lucas at ILM because the movie didn't cut together. So that, what turned out to be a classic was a serious mistake. So I think there are really, there are no mistakes. There just is whatever it is. People like it, don't like it, good, bad, or indifferent is, is like with the movie business, you know, I think anybody that gets a movie made should get an award. Forget about doing business because it's almost impossible. What do you want the world to know about John Peters? Um, I, I, I never really thought about that. I know that I would love my kids to love me and think that I'm a good dad and that I made a difference in their life. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. Thank you.